looking ahead on this weekend's Arts Avenue. We're talking about the Florentine Opera. Right now I'm joined by Maggie, the opera's new general director and CEO. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Us. I'm delighted to be here. So what do we have coming up? Well, we've got uh, a lot of music on the way, actually. We've got our home for the holidays this weekend, which is almost sold out. So mm -hmm. if you're dying for some Christmas carols and opera in your life, I think there's still a few tickets left. And what we have coming up in the new year is going to be really fun. The, um, the first show up is actually in addition to our program for the year. We are including Trouble in Tahiti, which is a Leonard Bernstein piece on our studio artist showcase. So it's a great piece that's got a lot of the, the jingle sound to the music and the Leonard Bernstein sound that we love so much from West Side Story and Candide. And the story is just a very intimate exploration of what relationships look like and all of the decisions we make in our daily life. So I know you're in a new role at the opera. Tell me about you know how long you've been in the role and your kind of vision going forward. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> um, I started in March, so I'm still in my first year, which is very exciting. And I have already learned a ton, but I think a lot of what we'll be looking for going forward is ways to connect with people where they are with opera. So mm -hmm. opera is one of those art forms that intimidates people a lot. And it's also a big commitment. Many of them are many hours long, and if you've never been before that might be a lot to chew on so um, Trouble in Tahiti for example is 45 minutes long okay. and then the second half of our program will be kind of the the really shiny beautiful pieces from a number of different operas so people can get more of a sense of the art form and the show following that is Tragedy of Carmen which is Carmen, which is one of the most famous operas in the world, but reduced, re-envisioned, and taken back to the original novella that inspired it. Um, so that one is a 90-minute show. Wow. So we're seeing people with a lot of interest in, in testing the waters, but not doing it on a, a three-hour production. So I think there'll be more shows like that coming up. Well, more arts in Milwaukee. Yeah, All right. Exactly. Well, thank you for joining us again this morning. And if you at home missed any of this interview, we're going to have more. We'll have the full interview on our website. WISN.com.